Take that Gita there from there. You can read Hindi, no? So, as you know, please give one copy to me also. So, as you know, today is our second uh, session of a study of Vishnu Sahasthanam and of course we will also see a just word to word translation of the Gita because Gita we have to discuss in great detail later on so we will start with Vishnu Sahasthanam because uh, we are going to discuss it in detail as as last time based on the commentary of the great Shankaracharya. <clears throat> so let us start with the chanting, then you can the please. Page the page last, Vishnu Sastram is right at the last. Right mm -hmm. at the end. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, then please repeat one line after me, one by one. We will start with the beginning. <coughs> Om Yasya Smarana Matrena Janma Sansara Bandhanat Janma Sansara Bandhanat Vimuchyate Namastasmai Vishnave Prabha Vishnave Namastasmai Vishnave Prabha Vishnave Nama Samasta Bhutanam Adi Bhutaya Bhuprite Samasta Bhutanam Adi Bhutaya Bhuprite Aneka Rupa Rupaya Vishnave Prabha Vishnave Aneka Rupa Rupaya Vishnave Prabha Vishnave Vaishampayan Uvacha Shrutva dharman asheshena pavanani chasarvashaha Asheshena pavanani chasarvashaha Yudhishthira shantanavam punareva bhyavashata Shantanavam punareva bhyavashata Yudhishthira Uvacha Kime kam daivatam loke kim vapi kam parayanam Daivatam loke kim vapi kam Stuvantah kam kamar chantah prapnu yurmanava shubham Kam kamar chantah Prapnu Yurmana Kodharma Sarva Dharmanam Bhavata Paramo Mataha Sarva Dharmanam Bhavata Pratisha, why is your voice? Your voice is not sounding. Kim Japan Muchate Jantur Janma Sansara Bandhana Muchate jantur janma sansara Bhishma uvacha Jagat prabhum deva devam anantam purushottamam Deva devam anantam purushottamam Tuvan nama sahastrena purusha satatotitaha Nama sahastrena purusha satatotitaha 
तमेवचार्चय भक्तिया पुषम अव्यय चार्चय भक्तिया पुषम अव्यय ध्यास्तु वनमस्यंश यजमस्तमे चु वनमस्यंश यजमस्तमे अनादिधन विष्णु सर्वोकमहेशर निधन विष्णु सर्वोक लोकाध्यक्ष वन्यम सर्वुखातिगो भवेक्ष वन्यम सर्वुखा ब्रह्मण्यम सर्वधर्म लोकानाकर्तिवर्धन सर्वधर्म लोकानाकर्तिवर्धन लोकनाथ महदूत सर्वूतभवोद्भव लोकनाथ महदूत सर्वूतभवो मे सर्वधर्मा धर्मोधिकतमो मत धर्मा धर्मोधिकतमो यद्या पुंडरी कावैरर्चे नर सदा भक्तिया पुंडरी कावैरर्चे नर परम यो महत्तेज परम यो महत्त महत्तेज परम यो परम यो महद्रह्म परम यण परम य पवित्राण पवित्र यो मंगला च मंगल पवित्र यो मंगला च मंगल दैवता भूता व्यय पिता दैवता भूता so 10 verses we have chanted so now we had seen what the meaning was of the first verse that is vaishampaya nuvacha shrutva dharman asheshena pavanani ch sarvashah shrutva means having heard heard what dharman About dharma, a sheshena means in great detail. What is that dharma like? Pavanani purifies us. Hmm. Sarvashay he had listened to all the details. So after learning Yudhishthira, hmm, he again asked, asked whom? Shantanavam, the son of Shantanu, Bhishma. पुनरेव अगेन अभ्यभाषत सो युधिष्ठिर अगेन आस्ट सो द क्वेश्चन इज आफ्टर नोइंग ऑल द धर्म इन डिटेल फ्रॉम द ग्रेट भीष्म हिमसेल्फ वाय डिड ही आस्क अगेन सो शंकराचार्य टेल्स अस दैट युधिष्ठिर वॉज अ वेरी क्लेवर पर्सन सो ही वॉन्टेड टू नो what will give him great result hmm. in very little effort with very little effort analpa phalam phalam he wants analpa means infinite but alpa prayasam he wants with very little effort and sukha sampadyam he wants easily he does not want to do any penance or tapasya or anything so he asked bhishma again that tell me you have told me all about dharma but maybe 
all that is very difficult for me so you tell me something which will give me infinite results but i won't have to work very hard for it it can be done easily hmm so that was uh yudhishthira what he wanted to know yudhishthira that's why yudhishthira asked so two verses these are questions asked by yudhishthira to bhishma that we will discuss today it is a wonderful exposition you will see by the great shankaracharya himself so please chant again half words only by repeat after me because this we have to understand carefully each word okay so half words you please repeat kim ekam daivatam loke kim ekam daivatam loke kim vaapyekam parayanam kim vaapyekam parayanam okay so these are the questions now yudhishthira is asking some questions what are those questions kim ekam ekam means one kim what daivatam daivatam here means deva deva means god loke in this whole world hmm. so the question of yudhishthira is in this whole world which is the one god now just by this we cannot understand much this is the original vishnu sahasranam we cannot understand much what is the question what what is that one god means what so the great shankaracharya we have to go for help what does he say he says loke means in this whole world which is that god by whose command everything moves yad agyaya pravartante sarve hmm. yad agyaya means by whose command every being is functioning that is the question who who is that god and samast vidya sthane vidya means knowledge who is the god from whom he comes all knowledge he is the source of all knowledge so that is the explanation so yudhishthira wants to know which god which god means what who is the god from which comes all knowledge and by whose orders by whose instructions all the universe is going hmm this is the question this is the first question kim ekam daivatam loke who is that one god in the universe okay now the second question kim va pekam means kim va api ekam parayanam so this is a very very important question and the great shankaracharya has commented extensively on this one question what is the question kim va ekam parayanam parayanam those who know hindi or sanskrit they know the word but we don't know the hidden meaning of this hmm parayanam the word actually here it can be translated as what is that one goal hmm so first he ask which is that one god <coughs> then he ask what is that one goal of all human beings hmm so that is the word that is the general meaning of the word parayanam but see the actual meaning in sanskrit parayanam means param ayanam ayanam means home hmm. which is the 
final goal means what is our real home where do we belong hmm then he explains shankaracharya param ayanam means praptavyam sthanam praptavya means what is to be achieved sthana means that place so when yudhishthira is asking what is the parayanam of all human beings he is asking what is our real goal what is our real home what is the only thing to be attained in this whole universe <clears throat> so you can see without the help of commentary it is impossible to understand hmm. so this is the question these are the two questions again to in total he asks about six questions we will see one by one but we have to see in detail otherwise we cannot understand so first is first question is who is that one god by whose orders everything moves and who is the source of all knowledge then he asks what is the final goal what is the only attainable thing worth attaining in this whole universe now comes the interesting part so that goal shankaracharya describes in great detail because we should have a clear idea of the goal we say god god etc so many times a day oh my god but <laughs> but we don't know by god what is meant god is the only goal there is no doubt so shankaracharya comes to our help he say now just see one by one how he describes in how many ways one by one i will tell and then i also also show you to make it clear first is he describes this what is the goal first characteristic of the goal what is it by realizing whom yasman nirikshate विद्यते हृदय ग्रंथि छिद्यंते सिर्व सर्व संशया दैट इज द गोल ऑल द नॉट्स ऑफ द हार्ट हृदय ग्रंथि विद्यंते ऑल विद्यते एवरीथिंग गोज ऑफ एंड छिद्यंते सर्व संशया संशय मीन्स डाउट्स ऑल अवर डाउट्स आर रिजॉल्व दैट इज द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ दैट गोल chiyante chase karmani all the karmas are burnt finished okay. done forever what is the second characteristic of that goal yasya vigyana matrena vigyana means knowledge just by knowing which anand lakshano moksha prapyate just by knowing which you get moksha liberation what is the characteristic of that liberation it is anand lakshana it is pure bliss hmm. so vigyana matrena by only knowing which that is the speciality now suppose someone brings us food from the all nice things chocolates and all so he shows us so we know that this is chocolate but by knowing that will our hunger be satisfied no but the speciality of this knowledge is just by knowing it hmm vigyana matrena you reach final mane pure bliss which is liberation this is the second characteristic what is the third characteristic यथ विद्यात नोइंग विच अगेन न विभेति कुतश्च न विभेति मीन्स ही डज नॉट फियर कुतश्च न ही फियर्स नथिंग ही डज नॉट फियर इवन डेथ दिस इज द थर्ड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ दैट गोल वट इज द फोर्थ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स यथ प्रविष्ट से एंटरिंग द स्टेट what happens na vidyate punar bhava he is never again born he never again dies 
Hmm. That is the goal. This is another characteristic. What is the fifth characteristic? Yasya cha Vedanath, knowing which again, hmm, all these are from the same dhatu, vid dhatu. Hmm. Vedanath, Vidyat, these are all the same thing, said in different ways. So again, Yasya cha Vedanath, knowing which, tad eva bhavati, we become that only. Hmm. Other things you know, you know this house, you know this furniture, we know so many people. But what happens? By knowing them, we don't become them. But God is not something which is outside you. Hmm. That you are here and God is there. God is your innermost self. So when we know our innermost self, what happens? We don't gain anything new. We become that. We always all realize that we were already that. So this is another characteristic of that supreme goal. And last one, yat vidyaya para para yat vidyaya para pantha ninam nasti. Apara means any other. Apara. Hmm. Apara pantha nasti. There is no other way. Of what? <coughs> to attain liberation. So that goal about which Yudhishthira, you are ask, Yudhishthira is asking, that one goal of human life, other than knowing that, there is no other way of attaining liberation. If you think, if we think we can attain liberation by going to the moon, to the stars, to the North Pole, to Alaska trips, no. There is no other way of attaining freedom. So these, in this wonderful way, Shankaracharya has described these six characteristics of that supreme goal. So just to make it clear, I will, I have typed all that and I will show you the slides. So this is the question, you can see there, in this universe, what is the supreme goal, the only state worth attaining by human beings? Asmin loke ekam parayanam praktavyam sthanam chakkim. So these are the characteristics. First, Yasmin Nirikshate Vidyate Ridaya Granthi Chidyante Sarvasanshaya. Realizing whom the fetters of the heart are cut asunder and all doubts are destroyed forever. Because without knowing this, we won't have any inclination. Hmm. <coughs> Someone will tell us, go to, go to America, go to New York. So we will ask why, then he will tell us, oh there is the Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty, uh, nice restaurants, then we will have a inclination to go. So here also he is telling us what is the great worth in attaining the supreme goal. So all the doubts will go, all the bondage of the heart will go. Second. Yasya vijnana matrena ananda lakshano moksha prapyate. By merely knowing that, we will attain liberation, which is supreme, unalloyed bliss. Then what are the other things? Again I will share. Yes. What is the third thing which will happen? Yat vidyat na vibheti kutaschana. By knowing that, we will get completely rid of all kinds of fears. Hmm. <coughs> then what, one other thing? Yat pravishtasya na vidyate punarbhava. By realizing that, one will become free 
from the cycle of birth and death forever. <clears throat> then, yasya cha vedana tadeva bhavati, by knowing which we become that. Anwar of Brahman verily becomes Brahman. Brahma with Brahmeva Bhavati, that is said in the Upanishads. And sixth, Yat Vihaya Para Pantha Niram Nasti. Other than attaining that, there is no other way to achieve the supreme goal of life, which is liberation. So, see how beautifully. For our sake, the great Shankaracharya tells us the meaning of that question. Hmm. So two questions we have seen. What is that one God under whose command everything moves? What is that supreme goal of life? Hmm. By realizing which we will get rid of all fear, we will get unalloyed bliss, we will become the supreme Brahman itself. We will fear nothing. Hmm, what can be higher than that? There is nothing higher than that. Now let us come to the third question. Very simple question that is. Please repeat after me a, a, a half line after that. So he asks again. Stuvanta kam kam arachanta. kam kam arachanta. Prapnu Yurumana Vashubham. Prapnu Yurumana So, these are two, there are two questions here. <coughs> what are the two questions? Stuvanta, by doing stuti. Stuti means by singing the praises. Hmm. When we sing the praises of God, that is called stuti. So, by reciting his praises, by singing his glories, hmm. second is, Kam Archanta, hmm. Archana means worship. Hmm. So, worshipping whom? So, two questions, by singing the glories of whom? And, second, by worshipping whom? What happens? Next verse. Prapnu yu manava shubham. Manava shubham prapnu yu. Manava means human beings. Prapnu yu means he gets everything. What? Shubham means everything which is good. Hmm. So these are the two questions. What? Very simple questions. Kam Katamam Devam means which God? Stuvanta. Stuvanta means Tuti, means praising. Guna Sankirtanam Kuruvanta, Shankaracharya says. Guna Sankirtanam. <coughs> recite his praise, recite his attributes. How he is all merciful, full of imp powers, all this, those, these types of stuti are there in each and every scripture. There is no scripture in Hinduism. Ah, Bhagavatam or whatever, whatever you say, uh, in, any, in any language, there is no scripture which does not contain the praises of God. So, stuvanta means guna sankirtanam kurvanta, reciting his glories. Then again, come Katamam Devam, which God Archanta. Archana is worship. Worship can be two ways. Bayam Abhyantaram. Bayam means external, like we did during Durga Puja. Hmm. But it can also be Antaram. Manas Puja it is called. Hmm. You can also worship God inside your heart. So, Archanta means Bhaya Bhyantaram Archanam Bahuvidam Kurvanta in various ways. Manava means human beings. Prapnuyu means he gets what? Swarg Adi Phalam. He gets heaven or 
Kalyanam. Hmm. He gets the ultimate good Shubham. So these are the two questions in the second line. Stuvanta kam kamarchanta manava shubham prapnuyu. This much is clear. Hmm. Now again, what is the next question? Please recite after me half words. Ko dharma sarva dharmanam. Bhavata paramo mataha. So, this whole line is just one question. What? Very simple. Sarva dharma nam, amongst all the dharmas. Hmm. Ko dharma, which dharma is parama, which dharma is highest? Very simple question. Hmm. So, dharma we have already seen when we last time when we discussed, we discussed the qualities of dharma which conduces to all kinds of good, either in this world or in the next world. In this world, dharma will give us peace, bliss, worldly prosperity. In the next world, it can give us heaven. And finally, it will give us liberation. So, that is the characteristics of dharma. Now, he asks, Sarvesham dharmana madhye, amongst all the dharma, which is parama. Parama means prakrishta, best. Very simple question. Hmm. Then, Next line is also one question only. Please repeat after me. We will end here today after this line. Kim Japan Muchate Jantu Muchate Jantu Janma Sansara Bandhanath So very simple question. Kim Japan. Japa, you know, reciting the name. Hmm. So, by doing Japa, by reciting what? Jantu. Jantu means human beings, all pranis, all the living beings. But only human beings can do this. So, human beings are meant. Jantu. Doing what? Japa of what? Jantu. Muchate. Get, gets free. Becomes free. From what? Janma Sansara Bandhana. He becomes free from all bondages. Bondage is what? Bondage is only one. That which is created by our attachment to the Sansara. It is not created by Sansara. If you are not attached, then no problem. Sansara is inert, jadavastu. How can something which has no life, how can it create problem from any, for anybody? So once I was going there, you know that I think it was 8th Avenue or something. So when I was going on a walk, there was a uh, house. I saw a big cat sitting on the sill. So I thought that he may jump, it, uh, it may jump. Then I went and so closely, it was just a model. Then all fear goes because it has no life. So how can it harm us? So sansara is jada, it has no life, it cannot harm us. Unless we make it a cause of harm. Hmm. All the cars are going in the road. We are sitting here, no problem. No, no car can harm us. But suppose we attach a chain to that car and pull, start going with that chain. What will happen? That car will take us wherever it goes because we are holding the chain. By that chain, we are attached to the car. So it is not the fault of the car. It was going its way. But we have become attached to that. 
so the world cannot create any problem it is going on in, on its own way but we are creating our own problem why because we are getting attached to that because we are getting attached it has power over us hmm we are busy, every i am afraid to talk also sometimes to some persons as soon as you start if you whatever conversation they will start what trudeau is doing what modi is doing what yes. khalistan is doing <laughs> what rajasthan is doing are you are not even able, able to manage your own mind hmm you are bothering about the whole world what have you got to do with those things but they are creating their own world and they are creating disturbance and you can get predictions of at least 100 years from them they know everything mm. what will happen this that everything they know mm. so this is our problem they are in their own place we have no control over them what we can do is make our life peaceful by not being attached to all those things but we don't want to do that people cannot stay in peace five minutes if you tell him to sit quietly any person that is the biggest punishment we cannot stay in peace so this has to be broken now yudhishthira asks kim japan by doing japa what this sansar bandhana that sansar which has bound us will be freed from that so these are the questions now just to make it clear even more i will put share before you all these questions so you can see here it will become absolutely clear and you can see how without the help of shankaracharya it is impossible to understand this hmm. these are the six question which bhishma asks what kim ekam daivatam loke who is the one god who is the ruler of all hmm then second question kim va ekam parayanam hmm what is the supreme goal of human beings the only goal worth attaining third question kam devam stuvanta manava shubham prapniyu by singing the glories of which god do humans attain all that is good fourth question kam devam archanam kurvanta manava shubham prapniyu by worshiping which god do humans attain all that is good fifth question ko dharma sarva dharmanam parama which is the supreme dharma amongst all the dharmas sixth question kim japan jantu janm sansar bandhanat muchyate by reciting what doing japa what human beings get freed from the ignorance and birth and death so see how beautifully just these two verses many of us chant vishnu sahasranam we have done so many times hmm. but without a deep study you cannot have any idea hmm. what is means so let us stop here and then we will go to the gita so at the end we chant this verse in that is describing the uh, form of vishnu so that verse is there in your books what is there please repeat after me 
till you know the tune then you can chant together shantakaram bhujagashayanam please do after me shantakaram bhujagash padmanabham suresham विश्वाधारम गगन सदृशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृशम मेघवर्णम शुभांगम मेघवर्णम शुभांग लक्ष्मीकांतम कमलनयनम कांतम कमलनयनम योगी भीर ध्यान गम्यम योगी भीर ध्यान गम वंदे विष्णुम भव भय हरम विष्णुम भव भय हरम सर्वोकनाथम सर्वोकनाथम